Understanding, destined to be a guide to mastering English phrases. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase, destined to be. This phrase is not only common in English conversations, but it also carries a depth of meaning. So, let's explore what it means and how you can use it effectively in your daily English. Destined to be is a phrase that implies that something is fated or meant to happen. It suggests a certain level of inevitability or predestination. When we use this phrase, we're often referring to a future event or situation that seems certain to occur, sometimes due to a higher power, fate, or a natural course of events. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. They were destined to be together. This suggests that the couple was meant to be in a relationship, almost as if it was prearranged by fate. 2. The invention was destined to be a success. Here, it implies that the success of the invention was inevitable. 3. She felt destined to be a great artist. In this case, it indicates a strong belief in a predetermined future or calling. This phrase is quite versatile. You can use it in casual conversations, literary writing, and even in professional settings. Here are some tips. When talking about relationships or personal goals, this phrase adds a sense of romance or destiny to the conversation. In a professional context, it can be used to express confidence in the future success of a project or idea. Be mindful of the context as it can sometimes imply a lack of control over one's destiny. While using, destined to be, avoid these common mistakes. Don't confuse it with immediate certainty. It's more about a strong likelihood or belief in the future. It's not always positive. For example, destined to fail has a negative connotation. Destined to be is a beautiful phrase that adds depth and a touch of fate to our language. We hope this video has been enlightening and helps you incorporate this phrase into your English vocabulary with confidence. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.